Who? Next problem. All right, this is another conversion one. Horses are to race over a certain English meadow for a distance of 4.0 furlongs. What is the race distance in rods and chains? And then we're given some useful little conversion factors. So, uh, or useful, useful little conversions. So let's find the actual conversion factors, factors then between what we want to get. So in both cases, we're converting a distance of a certain number of furlongs into rods and chains. So all right, let's let's get our little let's get a little, our little factors then. So one furlong, that's a funny little unit by the way. It's going to be equal to about 201.168 meters and then times the conversion from that into rods. So one rod then, oops, like handwriting, over 5.0292 meters, which is, uh, units cancel out of course, which is equal to 40 rods. And now let's do the same thing with chains. So one furlong going to be equal to that same number of meters times and the conversion factor from chains. So that is one chain over, and it's given here as 20.117 meters. Units cancel out, of course. And that is about 10 chains. Great. I still haven't answered the question, though. So, for more specifically, for part A, we're, uh, well, in both cases, actually, we're converting 4 furlongs, 4.0 furlongs. So let's take both our little numbers here and multiply them by 2, or by 4. So if this is the conversion for 1 furlong for 40 yards, then 4.0 furlongs is going to be equal to 40 rods times 4, which is going to be equal to 160 rods. And for part B, 4.0 furlongs is going to be equal to 10 chains times 4, which is going to be, lo and behold, 40 chains. And that is our conversion for both questions.